Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day on this, the first day of February. So we are continuing our study in Matthew and we're gonna be in Matthew 22, verses 15 through 22. So if you wanna take a second and find it in your Bible, you can do that right now. And while you're looking up, let me just ask you this question. Do you have some hard questions that you'd like to ask God? Some things that are like burning in your mind and you're just so curious and you need to know the answer or you at least would like to know the answer and you know that God has the answer? I think that's appropriate. We have questions that we are curious about. But in today's passage, the people asking Jesus a question are actually trying to trap him. They want to see if they can get Jesus to say something that is foolish and that would cause problems for his ministry. So let's see what the hard question is that the people have for Jesus here. In verse 15 of Matthew 22, Then the Pharisees went and plotted how to entangle him in his words, and they went they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully and you do not care about anyone's opinion for you are not swayed by appearances. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? So they butter Jesus up with a bunch of flattery and then they ask him the crucial question. Is it lawful for a Jewish person to pay taxes to Caesar. Now, what's the point of this question? Well, if Jesus says, yes, they should pay taxes, well, that was not a very popular view for the Jewish people who were being controlled by the Roman government. So they were thinking maybe if Jesus says, yes, pay your taxes, he'll lose some popularity. On the other hand, if Jesus says, no, you don't have to pay taxes to Caesar, well, of course, then they could accuse him, of, accuse him of insurrection and could maybe get him in trouble with the Roman government. Jesus knows their motives. Listen to what he says in verse 18. But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why put me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. And Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said, Caesar's. Then he said to them, therefore, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. When they heard it, they marveled and they left him and went away. So their plan to entrap Jesus fails because, of course, Jesus is way too wise for their silly question. He knows what they're up to and he has a truthful answer. He says, the things that are Caesar's, that coin, that's Caesar's, give it to Caesar and give to God the things that are God's. Now, he doesn't delineate any further which things belong to Caesar's and which things belong to God. But I think we can draw maybe one uh, or two references or inferences from this passage. One is that there's a difference between governmental authority and God's authority. There's a difference between the, the church and the state, and it's the job of government to protect the freedoms of people, to protect people's freedom of religion, to protect people's freedom to worship, and protect people's freedom to have uh, beliefs that reflect what they hold true and dear. So this government has this role, but the church also is not to use government in order to force allegiance to a certain religion. So, you know, we've worked that out over centuries trying to figure out how that should work best. But I think this is pointing to that fact that there's some differences here in authority and there's different levels of allegiance. But when it comes to paying taxes, pay your taxes and be sure that you're always giving to God all the respect and everything that is due to him. If this message has uh, encouraged you today, let me encourage you to like it, share it or leave a comment below. Have a blessed day, Calvary.